see whales every day from a boat and I get to see them closer than most people do which is pretty pretty amazing and I'm pretty lucky but seeing them from the air is just just a completely different picture. Um, watching them, the way that they move together underwater is just incredible. Uh, that's something you definitely don't see and can't very much capture from a perpendicular photograph. But from overhead, you really can see a lot more of the interactions, which makes it really interesting. Orca, Orca, this is Eureka. Eureka, Orca, uh, Eureka, Shachi here. Uh, yeah, I'm right off your uh, bow about. Uh, 400 yards and orcas to my port and we're paralleling a group so we can get good IDs. Good idea. Yeah, they're hitting. The whales are going to be doing about three knots. So what we want to try to do is be able to... And then put it into a hollow. Yeah. And we'll just slowly move in to see what direction the whales are headed. Okay. And then we'll just... I like to tell people that, that doing missions such as this is our chance to uh, do well while doing good. Um, the ship has multiple roles. Uh, we fly passengers aboard it, but we also, and very importantly, do science work with the ship. What makes this a really valuable platform for the sort of work we did today is that this ship is highly maneuverable. It, is, it acts more like a helicopter than a traditional blimp. Because we have engines mounted on the side and rear of the airship, we can hover at a precise location in space uh, that allows us to get very, very good uh, photos or videos. Uh, there's virtually no vibration and very low noise. See, the animal just breached out there, that splash was. So we're going to go over here. We're out with uh, some of the southern resident killer whales right off the uh, southwest side of San Juan Island. What we're trying to do right now is get some both video as well as still images and also to get uh, some general behavior on uh, behavioral patterns of the whales relative to foraging. Some of the behaviors that we saw we would call a spy hop where the whale comes out of the water like this. and. Um, Basically what we think they're doing is just taking a look around above the water just like you or I would do if we came up to the surface and looked around. I would say that the main scientific value of studying these whales is conservation. You know, we're lucky that we get to see such amazing animals so close and um, if it gives us the opportunity to care about them then we, we should really realize that uh, it's, uh, it's a global problem, not just a local problem. The, the health of the whales and the health of the oceans.